All right, so we're gonna head into Michael's to see if we can find the owner. Here we go. It's cool. Okay, so I'm kind of confused on which yarn I'm supposed to buy. I even looked on some of the um, places on Etsy that are selling designs for these and I can't, it doesn't actually say which kind, so I'm confused. I think I'm gonna buy two. This one's really big. I feel like this would be almost too big. It's like for the chunky blankets, but I do like this sweet little pink. They don't have red, so I'm gonna go with that sweet pink. And you know, bright colors aren't in right now, so I think this would be cool. And then just in case, because I don't wanna come back, I'm getting this smaller, and I think this would be so cute on a colored shirt. I don't know. I'll let y'all know which works best. We'll try them both. So, here goes nothing. I just realized I found a whole nother display. Oh, these are such cool colors. So guys, I'm so excited. I, it's seriously, it's so fun when you do something new in embroidery um, and this is gonna be so fun. So I ended up with the um, a different color. At the very end, I saw this whole display of just these amazing um, colors and I got this lighter pink. And then again, I got the smaller white. I wanna kinda try them both and just kinda see. Um, but I am tickled, I'm excited. I think it's gonna be fun. Um, so what I wanna do now is head over to the computer, show you the designs I found. Then we're going to um, work them out in Embrilliance, our um, embroidery software, and then we'll stitch, yay! All right, All Things Applique had an Instagram or Facebook post recently, and that's where I saw that they have made designs like this that are specific for our yarn. You guys, I am so excited. So I'm actually going to buy a couple. I want to do this one. I don't know. This is just the one that speaks to me, the love with the heart. But I think I want to do this one too, or maybe this one. I don't know. They're 50% off. Why don't we just do them all? Should we just do them all? All right, let's just do them all. Add to cart. Um, add to cart. And add to cart. And I do. I think I like the, the X heart better than the XO. Now, that's cute too, but I don't think I need them both. So we're going to do all three of these. I mean, seriously, why not? They're 50% off. I'm a sucker. And it'll just be fun to try these. All right. We are going to pay now. Processing my order. And bam, let's do it. We're going to download our files. There. All right. It's fast. Okay. So I want to do, let's make a file, I guess, for all of these. So I need to download them. Open, extract all, browse, embroidery nurse. Let's do new folder, yarn designs. The, oh, stop it. Designs. Select folder, select folder, extract. Okay. So there's yarn designs, and that was the love. I'm actually going to, let's see, in this folder, I'm going to put a new folder um, and put love 
And then I'm actually going to take all of these doo -doo -doo -doo, and put them in that folder. Done. So then we're also going to do a folder for XOXO, even though it's not just that. And then we're also going to do a folder for um, double heart. So now when I go back to save these, we're going to do XOXO yarn, <clears throat> open, extract, browse. Which one was this? No, I forgot. XOXO. Okay. So that's this one. Select, extract. Perfect. There is 52 done. All right, and the last one we need was the double heart. So that's right here. And we're going to plop it in, open file, extract all, browse, um, yarn designs, double heart, select folder, extract. All right, you guys, we are ready to roll. How fun. All right, so this is, again, before I close out of it, all things applique, super cuteness over here, you guys. Um, like I said, I saw a um, post that they recently did about um, this one specifically, and I knew, I just knew, I knew I had to do it. Let's see what if it tells us anything specific about doing it. Um, it's a yarn design, digitized in 2022. This design stitches in sections and is intended to be stitched with yarn or Chanel materials. I don't know what that is. I think that's what maybe I was supposed to be looking for, but I think we're good. So our yarn designs have stops in place, allowing you to stitch a section at a time. The first step of the design is placement. This shows you where you want to lay down your yarn. Oh, so we could do a different color for the heart. The next steps of the design stitch a bean stitch for extra hold. The machine will stop at each change in color, allowing you more control and to place each section at a time. I like to use a little bit of spray adhesive on my yarn before placing it to keep it in place. Others have suggested using some temporary tape to hold yarn in place. We'll be releasing a tutorial video soon. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> so it does, look at all these sizes it has. That's awesome. And it has all of the supported format formats. So I like this too. I might have to come back to that. That's super cute. And look at this, hearts on a string font. Ugh, love it. Okay, so that is all things applique. That is them explaining how to do it. So now we're going to go to <clears throat> Embrilliance. <clears throat> Pull it up. And we call these yarns. So they're going to be way down here. Yarn Designs. And we're going to do love first because I'm super excited about that. Uh, I'm doing it for me. So I don't want it to be too tiny. And I'm going to do it on a pretty big sweatshirt because that's kind of what I wear. So let's see. <clears throat> I think let's, let's see how crazy big this is. Oh, that's crazy big. Um, I'm going to turn it. But this, I can use a much bigger frame or hoop, I'm sorry. So I can actually go and edit my preferences and I can change it to my bigger size. There you go. Okay. Um, so it does fit within that, you guys. That looks amazing. <clears throat> I love it. I really, 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 really love it. Now, it's a little close to the edges of my frame there. Just a little. Um so I might actually just make it a little bit smaller and then center it. Um, that looks a little better. It gives me a little allowance on each side and I think it'll be plenty big. So let's watch how it actually stitches. Okay. So what's it going to do first? So first it's going to do just the actual entire placement. So that's good. It's going to show you where all of it uh, needs to lay down. And so that's going to be first. And then it's going to do little sections, it says, at a time. So it's going to do that little section. And then it's going to do that section. So that's good. It, it gives you a second to kind of reset. Um, so these will be the same color. In all reality, all of these really will be. But it's just allowing you the opportunity to do one little section at a time. See how it's just doing one little section. 
and that's perfect. And, it, and generally, if it's a long line or a straight line, it'll do that. Um, that's perfect. That'll help you get around the curves and help us not um, kind of be frantic at the machine trying to get it all on. So, all right, I think we're good. That shows the whole stitch out. And you know me, guys, I'm always printing my designs out. That's just the way I roll. So I'm going to print that out. We're going to save it to the USB and we're going to go to the machine. All right, so we've got the designs and I'm going to do the love one that we just did on in Brilliance on a sweatshirt for myself. I had some of these left over from a really big order that I did. Um, so I'm going to make one for me. I want to try it out, but I couldn't help myself. I decided to go ahead and do all three designs that we just downloaded. So I found just some outfits that I had in stock and I'm going to do the cute double hearts on this sweet little romper. And then I'm going to do the um, heart X heart X on a shirt. So I'm doing a couple of different ways uh, for the romper. I am going to use my fast frames. I'm going to do this on the Rakoma with the fast frame. And then for the XOXO shirt, um, this is just like a ruffle long sleeve shirt that's red. Um, I'm using my, um, my Mighty Hoops for that. So we're going to do three different techniques, three different types of hooping, uh, three different machines. But this is going to be fun. I wanted to try all the designs. I didn't just want to do one. I wanted to try them all. So we're going to try them all. So I've got my machine set up. I've got these hooped. Um, I am going to hoop this one, and I'm actually going to do this with Tearaway. Um, the reason I'm going to do that is because it is on a pretty staple sweatshirt that I don't feel like I'm going to need the backing that I would on the others. Um, on the two children's items, I am using the poly mesh um, cutaway. So I'm just going to cut this to size, and I am using the largest hoop that came with my baby lock. There's much larger hoops that do come with the Rakoma. Um, this one seemed really good for like a chest placement. So when you're doing something this big, I definitely need to get out my measuring tape. And we're just going to measure all the way across. And then since I printed out my design, you know how I print these out. It's got the grid on there. I'm going to put this exactly at the midline done and then just a few you know inches down from the neckline I am going to pin that on pin it in place done and done and then I'm going to flip it inside out and add the stabilizer This is a Gildan, like 18,000. I think that's the number. It's so soft on the inside. I really um, was pleased with my really large order that I recently did using these. It's, it's a great option um, for adult sweatshirts. So I'm going to just use a little bit of spray adhesive, which we're also going to be using for our yarn, just to put that stabilizer on the back of our sweatshirt. We're going to flip it back, lay it flat again, and then we're going to take the back side of that hoop, slide it into place. So for this one, I'm only going to use the pink because it's more like a one colored one with the uh, wording love. And then the other two designs, I'm actually going to use both colors, the pink and the white. So I think that will be a fun addition to those. So we'll just do one at a time and see how we go. I'm going to do my cutest one first. So let me get this hoop in place here. And I think this pink will look so cute. I did originally go looking for red, but I'm actually more excited about the pink. I mean, come on, y'all. You know I like pink. So it was a better fit for me. I didn't even know it. And I do. I love it. I mean, seriously, how cute is that? That's just a great color. Okay, so let's make sure we have that in place there. Put our ugh, muscle into it. And I think we are good to go. I've got it lined up with the markers um, on the frame itself or the hoop itself. I'm sorry. 
and so you can see that so I've got the grid on there and um, with the grid it's got the center line which is right here since it's large it didn't print out the whole thing it just printed out the center which is fine because that's all I need for matching it up and then I made sure that top line lined up with that so I know on both sides will be fine since the whole E didn't print out um, I know that if I have that in the center we'll be good to go all right so we are going to put this little lady here I've got her hooped on the machine and so next I'm gonna bring you closer so you can actually watch me stitch it okay hope this works Okay, I didn't really know how much to cut, so I'm keeping it in one big ball. Hopefully that's okay. Um, so I've got my machine ready here. I'm going to go ahead and line it up, center it right over my grid, and then I can take my grid off. Um, every single stitch is going to be the same color because we're only using one color of this yarn. It's all going to be in pink. So I can go ahead and just tell it everything to be in pink. I'm going to stitch out the first part, which is just the original outline of love. after the first because that's the outline and now what I'm choosing to do I don't know y'all I'm practicing uh, instead of knowing which side of this to spray it on with the spray adhesive I'm just going to do a little spray adhesive on the outline of the letter I mean it comes off I'm making sure I don't get it on my machine I could have probably taken it off the machine to do that but you know all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up, that first little section. Oh, that's perfect, y'all. I'm not kidding, that spray adhesive on there, that, that's what you need. All right, so we're gonna do the first spot and let's see. I don't know. Feel good about the first one. Oh, I didn't tell it to stop. Um, so now we're gonna get, be going up this loop here. Oh, the spray adhesive on the actual item is the way to go. So let's make sure that gets to the next tops area there. I think it will. Good. So I'm going to just kind of bring it down, following the outline. letting it go because right now I've got it placed perfectly. I'll bring you in a little closer. the spray adhesive on the item is the way to go.
kind of comes into a pretty fast divot there, so I still think it's fine. because it's still doing well. rolling it over and I'm gonna go back and do that one again so I'm just gonna go one item back and go again it didn't really look like it caught in the middle of the, the um, yarn I just, like I said, I roll it over just a little bit. This color is perfect. Oh, I love it. I like the way I came down and then went back up. Perfect placement there. Now I'm setting the E in place. It did pick it up, so that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and loop over and then down to make sure. You can do the next couple of stitches. We're almost done. Stop it, y'all. Seriously. Three more stitches. I mean, how fast was this?
you kidding me? Seriously, how amazing is that? Y'all, <laughs> I did it. I did it. Ah, I did it. Look at that. Look at that. So look at that. Super cool. All right, let's pop it out. Let's put it on. I'm going to do the other two. I can't not. They're ready. That was really super easy. I would say with my one experience, my one whole time of doing this, me just spraying the spray adhesive, after the placement stitch, perfect. You know that's gonna wash off. I didn't put a ton on there. I'm just pulling the stabilizer off the back. Um, you know it's gonna come off. So, I, you know, I am so not worried about it. And all the letters are on. Um, what? <laughs> nice glasses. Look at that. Ah, how fun. I did it y'all seriously I love it I got a little there we go do you love <laughs> no pun intended yeah pun intended look at that I love it okay let's go see the other two I'm equally as excited about those Okay, so we tried it. Lessons learned. This, I'm still loving it. I keep thinking there's something on my shirt though. Uh, I'll have to get used to that, but I really do love it. Eee! So I decided I didn't like this one, which was the thinner kind. Um, that's a big no. It just shredded too much. So big no on that. But this the, mm, is amazing. It is it's amazing. And you saw, I got it from Michael's. I'm sure you can get it from a million other places too. Um, so this one turned out awesome. I really did like where I put the spray adhesive straight on to the placement stitch. That seemed to work really well and keep it in place. Here's what I didn't love about the white. Look how much it frays. And this was too many cuts because you had to cut each piece of the X. So one cut, two cut, one cut, one cut, one cut, one cut. I didn't like that. What I loved about this is this is literally one continual piece of yarn. Loved it so much easier. When it has all these cuts, look at all that fraying that it does. So I know I could clean that up, but I don't love it. I gotta admit, I don't love it. Now it's a smaller design, so it's a lot more compact. Now here's what I do love. I decided not to use both colors and I could have probably only done one heart and it would have been fine. But I went ahead and did the double heart. Look how sweet that is on this little romper, that pink on the red. So again, I really probably could have just done one heart. It would have been enough, um, but I love it. I mean, you could almost fill the whole thing in and it would be super sweet, but it turned out good. Look at that yarn on there. Love it. Love, love, love. So these projects really did turn out well. I was super excited. I love when there's a new technique in embroidery and this is kind of all the rage right now. And you better believe I'll be wearing this now through Valentine's. This is fun. Even, I mean, I mean, I can wear it anytime. We can love, we need love all the times, don't we? So there you go. I love it. I hope you learned something from watching me. Um, trial and error. I mean, that's really how I learn. I learned, you know, what I don't want to do and what I really loved doing. Um, and that's, that's my best takeaway from projects like this. Just try it. Try it. See what you love. See what you don't. Love this. Love this. Didn't love that one. So I hope that helps. It was kind of fun taking you along for the shopping for buying the designs, for doing the designs in a brilliance, and then actually stitching the designs, now to wearing the designs. Super fun. Hope you had a blast and happy stitching. Bye guys. Go try it out. You're going to love it.